Welcome back. Today we'll be using lots of spices to make a delicious dish called birria tacos. Recently I've noticed so many people talking about this delicious food. I also made it into wonderful empanadas. Vamos a cocinar. For this recipe, we'll be starting with four cans of jackfruit. Just in case you haven't watched any of my other jackfruit videos, I want you to understand that the best way to make jackfruit taste delicious is to make sure to rinse it out very well. I rinsed these four cans of jackfruit for a good 10 minutes. I kept the water running while I was taking out the seeds and the harder bit, making sure to move it all around as I did it. So just always kind of tossing and flipping it. I removed the big seeds as as well as the harder bits that look like this. In the end, you want most of your jackfruit to look like this, kind of like a shredded chicken. And don't worry, this is not gonna be the color of jackfruit by the time we're done with it. It's going to look like shredded beef. Okay, this is the reason why birria tacos are delicious. The dried chile. I'm using six New Mexico chiles, five guajillo chiles, one dried pasilla chile. We don't eat spicy food at home. If you like spicy food, I would add a chile like chile de arbol, maybe two or three. I put them in hot water for about 15 minutes and it opens them up and gets them softer. And then I remove all the seeds. You can save these seeds and use them to actually plant your own chiles if you want to. I'm making the consomme for the birria tacos in an instant pot for convenience sake. I set it to saute and I add a little bit of olive oil. Now this olive oil is different because it is garlic confit olive oil. So my olive oil does taste like garlic. I'm gonna add three tablespoons to my Instant Pot. My Instant Pot is set on saute and I'm just gonna let my garlic oil get nice and warm and I'm gonna add all of those chiles that I had soaked and de-seeded. You'll also wanna add one teaspoon of your achote, also known as anato, and one teaspoon of your sesame seeds. While that starts sauteing, drain the water that you soaked your chiles in. And it should give you about five cups. Pour three cups of that water into the Instant Pot. With your saute still on, add two Roma tomatoes, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, eight garlic cloves, one eighth teaspoon ground cloves, a one inch piece of fresh ginger, one teaspoon of sesame seeds, and one teaspoon of Mexican oregano one teaspoon dried thyme, one teaspoon ground cumin, one quarter teaspoon ground black pepper, one quarter teaspoon cinnamon powder, five teaspoons of sea salt. Stir it well. You'll also add in half an onion. I don't know how I didn't film it, but I didn't. Seal the Instant Pot lid and then choose high pressure. You're gonna put it on high pressure for five minutes. You can do a natural release or you can vent it. I allowed mine to do a natural release. Then you will just take everything from the Instant Pot, put it into a blender, blend it until it is liquefied. Now get all that prepped jackfruit, put it into the Instant Pot. Next, you will ladle that consomme that we made earlier over it until it's covered. Do not place more than needed. We want to reserve the consomme to eat it with our birria tacos. Next, add in two containers of eight ounces of mushrooms. So 16 ounces of mushrooms. Add one cup of broth. I'm using vegan beef broth by Edward and Sons. At this point, your jackfruit and mushrooms should be covered well by liquid. Now set your Instant Pot to 40 minutes at high pressure. Obviously, we don't have to cook the jackfruit, but cooking it at high pressure for 40 minutes allows all the flavors to infuse into it. Once again, I did a natural release and this is what it looked like. I gotta tell you guys, my kitchen smelled amazing. You don't need to keep the liquid with that jackfruit, so I'm gonna strain some of that liquid into a container, and I'm actually gonna put it back into the consomme. Finally, add in one teaspoon of salt, or salt it to taste, but I just added one teaspoon. All right, it is time to start building our birria tacos. Here are some quick tips while I get set up. If you are using store-bought tortillas like I am, make sure that they are nice and warm. Do not pull them out of your fridge and try to use them. Those tortillas will crack if you use them cold. So make sure they're nice and warm and that your consomme is also warm. I did use homemade tortillas for some of them, but I ran out and for the video, I'm using store-bought. So this is how you build it. You take your tortilla, dunk it into your consomme like you saw me do. Second, you're gonna take a little bit of the filling. Do not overfill it because that makes them crack too. Once you put a little bit of the filling in, you'll grab some cheese. I'm using Daya or Daya. I don't know how you say it, but I'm using it. It's delicious, they changed the recipe. It used to taste like feet. Now it tastes really yummy and creamy. Close that sucker up and get them onto a heavy bottom cast iron pan with a little bit of oil. 
Fry them for two to three minutes on each side. They should be pretty golden brown. I served these birria tacos with a little bit of lime, cilantro, and chopped onions. You serve it with the consomme on the side, and then you dip it and eat it. We also drank the consomme because it was so good. If you want the recipe for the birria empanada, head over to my TikTok, at Our Team Liao. It'll be there. I hope you enjoy your birria tacos at home. Buen provecho.